for my youth, yeah. I had to watch because he always recorded it on the on the videotape. Every stage of the Tour de France. Love the Tour de France. So I've seen, I, I've seen just about every single stage because Dad always had it on the telly. You know what? It's funny you should say that. Isn't it's that... funny you should say that because I think a great names of the Tour de France. You've got like Eddie Merckx, uh, you know, Greg LeMond, and then we've got Bradley Wiggins. And, and one name that is not a cyclist but the greatest yeah. name and celebrating his 50th anniversary as well, commentating on the Tour de France, which your dad would love, is uh, Phil Liggett. Phil Liggett. I've known the voice of Phil Liggett all my life. Well, you can now see the face of Phil Wait. Liggett as well. How about that? We've got Phil, uh, who's live from Copenhagen for the start of the Tour de France, which begins today. Morning, Phil. Good morning to you all. I've been listening to the programme with great joy, yes, and good luck to your dad too. <laughs> Listen, oh, Listen, it, it, it's great. Listen, and firstly, congratulations, 50 years of the Tour de France. I've got to ask you that the... Is there much change? Because I guess it's still, it's a man on a bicycle against all the elements is what it's all about. But how much has changed yeah. over the years? Well, I'll tell you, it's true. People say, why do you go and follow the same sporting event for 50 years? And the answer is because you never see, see the same event twice. The Tour sure. de France has matured, of course. And it started back in 1903 when you were pushing your bikes up over the, the big steep roads and the unmade roads now, of course. We passed through the ear of typewriters when you couldn't hear yourself think in the press rooms. Uh, the Colombian journalists had to pump coins into a phone box to do a live radio show to Bogota. It's all become streamlined, fast moving, and so is the cycling too. Uh, and two years ago, we had the second youngest winner ever in Tadej Pogacar. Um, in 1904, was the, the guy that was younger than him, Henri Since then, uh, Pogacar's won again, and he's the hot favourite to win this time round too. The great world sporting spectacles, isn't it? The Tour de France, and it it, it captures yes. imagination, especially more so probably over the last few years here, Phil, because we've had winners, haven't we? And we've had successes here. And also, yeah. when we look at someone like Mark Cavendish, who unfortunately is not going to be in it, uh, breaking that record last year with 34 um, stage wins. Correct. And we're very sad Mark isn't here. It's a political thing within his Belgian cycling team. They're taking the top Belgian sprinter instead. Uh, he's very fast, and he is as fast as Mark. We'd have loved to see Mark come and take the sole record because he's joined with Eddie Merckx with 34. It's not going to happen this year. Um, but the race has changed completely. It's a big money spinning now. Denmark here is the capital of world cycling. People ride bikes here as a matter of fact. There's two bikes uh, equal to every member of the population of Denmark, which is quite enormous. It's a population of about 6.5 uh, million people, and they've got 13 million bikes. Uh, and it's very, very eco-friendly. Everything is is in the way of, of living a healthy lifestyle. There's no pollution here in Copenhagen at all. The water is pristine and clear, yet it's Dockland. And um, the, 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 the Danes have been planning this for 12 years. They started about 10 years, so in 22, they, they, they finally brought it to realisation. And we might have a British winner. Uh, I'm still hoping that Geraint Thomas will come back and do what he did in 2018 and win the Tour. Uh, it's, it's, uh, he'll be up amongst it, I'm sure. We'll know a bit later today because we start with a time trial uh, and the whole of this city is closed down, believe me, just for a bike break. Well, I remember when it was in London, and, and like you say, and, and I'm sure you won't mind me mentioning this, that when I did send you a text yesterday, and you did, I just said, how the hell's Denmark? And he puts too many bikes. And for Phil Liggett to say that, I think it's incredible. <laughs> Finally, I was killed on a bike yesterday, walking across the road, than I did by being hit by a motor car. There was hundreds of them. I'm sure they went by and went, oh, sorry, Phil. So I'm sure everybody knew who you were. And, and finally, one more. And, and this is the, 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 the yellow jersey. And, of course, there's the, the green jersey and the spotted jersey. For those that are, are new to the world of cycling, can you just give us an example and, and just tell us why they are there? We know about the yellow jersey, but what about the others? Yeah, well, the yellow jersey is because they the keep sponsoring newspaper used to print on yellow pages. It was introduced into the Tour in 1919 because people didn't know who was leading the race. And so they put the leader in the yellow jersey. Uh, then came the green jersey because the sprinters complained they couldn't climb mountains. So how could they ever win the Tour de France? So they gave them their own competition, which is to be consistent on the daily stages. And so they gave them a green jersey uh, as a point competition. And then they introduced a, a king of the mountains. And to know who he was, they introduced a rather bizarrely red spotted polka dot jersey. It looks like the riders got measles. And uh, then we also recognise the best young rider under 26 years of age. Uh, he gets to wear a white jersey 
and that scored exactly like the yellow jersey is the highest placed of the, of the young riders in the Tour de France. Those are the competitions I always refer to as the most expensive laundry line in the business. <laughs> Brilliant. And, and you know what? And for your 50th anniversary, I think there probably should be a king of the commentators jersey, which, Phil, it, it, it should be the Liggett jersey as far as we're concerned. Many congratulations on 50 years. Uh, enjoy it. We can't wait to uh, see it get underway later. Thanks, Phil.